Welcome to an introduction to Inkscape tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over the basic tools in Inkscape. The first thing we're going to talk about is using shape tools. To start us off on shapes, let's go ahead and select the rectangle tool. Now, for creating a shape, all we have to do is left click and drag our mouse, then when we let go, we have our shape. The exact same way works with the ellipse tool as well as the spiral tool. Just left click and drag and you'll create your shape. Now lastly we have the star and pentagon tool. The difference with this shape tool is that when it's selected you'll see at the top there's an option for the pentagon shape or the star shape. So simply just select your shape at the top and then do the same thing you did to make the previous shapes. Now that we've gone over shapes, let's manipulate them a little bit using the selector tool. At the top of the toolbar, you'll find the selector tool. With the selector tool, we can left click on objects to select them, as well as using the box select to select one or more objects. All we have to do is left click and drag to create a selection box. You can also click and drag on your selection to move it. Now you'll see surrounding the selection is eight arrows. You'll be able to use these for scaling. If we were to click on our selection one more time, a new set of arrows will appear, and the corners of these set of arrows are used for rotating. One last thing to note is if we accidentally double click on something with our selector tool, it will change our tool, and in this case it changed my tool to an ellipse tool, which is the tool I use to make this circle. Next, let's talk about the paint bucket and dropper tool. If we start with the paint bucket, we can then select a color, and then left click on an object. Instead of filling in the object with our color, what it does is make a copy of the object with the color we chose. Now let me make a quick circle, then I'll select the dropper tool. With the circle still selected, I can use the dropper tool to left click on other colors on the canvas and as you can see, the circle changes to the color selected. I can also left click and drag with the dropper tool. It'll create a circular region that will combine all the colors together when I release the mouse button. And now we're onto the measurement and zoom tool. So first off, select the measurement tool, the one with the ruler on it. And when you left click and drag, you'll actually be able to see the size of your objects in pixels. Now if we were to hold the control key while doing this, we could keep the ruler level and it moves at degrees of 15 at a time. Now let's move on to the zoom tool. With the zoom tool selected, we can left click to zoom in on a specific area. We can also hold the shift key and left click to zoom out. Now one last thing is if we left click and drag, it'll create a region and when we let go, will be zoomed into that specific region. Next, let's talk about using the text tool and some drawing tools available to us. Let's go ahead and select the text tool. If we left click anywhere, we can start typing. Like other objects, we can select our text and scale it. If we want our text to stay proportional, we just hold the control key while we're scaling. Now let's start drawing. Select the pencil tool. If you left click and drag your mouse, you can do freehand drawing. In a different style, we can do the same freehand drawing but with the calligraphy tool this time. Now our last drawing tool is the pen tool. To use the pen tool, left click at different areas of the canvas to create connected straight lines. If we want a curved line, all we have to do is hold down the left mouse button when making our lines. To stop your current path, just right click. With the path still selected, we can continue with our path by left clicking on one of the endpoints. Right now we have an open path, but if we were to click on the last endpoint, it would become a closed path. The last tool I'll be going over is the node tool. Now let's look back at the drawings we've done. If we select the node tool, with our drawings selected we can see that all our drawings consist of little squares 
These are called nodes. As you can see, I have a circle object selected. There aren't any nodes at the moment. This is because it's still an object. To change this object into a path, we go to Path on the menu bar, and then select Object to Path. Now that the circle is a path, we can left click and drag on the nodes to change how our circle looks. Manipulating nodes can be useful for making accurate changes to your creations.